G'day guys, welcome back to the show. Today it's a beautiful summer's day. It's howling nor'easter and brought the swag down boat camping. So I've got a special guest today, Coco. Welcome to the channel. We're good friends, so I brought two single swags. No funny business tonight. <laughs> but um, no, nah, seriously, we do want to catch some fish today. So we got the rods for Jewfish and maybe a flathead but it's so windy the past couple of days so we're not going to go out and try and catch snapper or we did bring some squid rods in case in the morning it's it's not too windy but even down the river it's windy i mean it looks like a glass off but there's still a fair bit of wind i've got actually entree and main course had to impress someone so i'm going all out today chuck the rods out and maybe have some to eat anyway fingers crossed we can get a fish This is five day dried kingfish. So you dry age it. So good. And what I did was I put the fillet in the fridge and then dried the top of it, flipped over the next day, dried the bottom of it, did that a couple of times, then cut it in half and dried the sides of it, and then cut it into cubes and kind of dried like heaps of little pieces. And then I cut those little pieces up. Got a bit of sauce here and it's like the best way to eat sashimi. All right, y'all go. Hey. I just hooked up. It's actually a good fish. It is a good fish. Do you want to wind it in? Oh, you want to catch fish? <laughs> just don't go too hard. <laughs> oh, mate. What is it? Bloody. Oh, it's a cracker. <laughs> it's a cracker. Get in, get in, get in. <laughs> it's a cracker! <laughs> oh, it's not plastic! <laughs> Coco actually just said to me, I said to her, will you be upset if you don't catch a fish? <laughs> and she was like, yes. And I'm like, oh, well, I can't guarantee anything. And we just got a PB flatty for me. Holy moly! <laughs> Squidgy, wriggler, corner of the mouth. Straight out, just like that. You're gonna measure on him. He's not very happy, but he's basically just on 70. So we could keep him because he's just under 70 by a millimetre, but we'll let him go. I'm surprised, honestly. I was flicking, thinking I was gonna catch nothing. Oh, we'll get a couple photos. <laughs> I got no gloves or anything, so photo was not that good. So 77 is my PB, this one's 70. But pretty happy, this is the local river, so let it go. When she's ready. There she goes. This is the first time setting the double swag up in the boat. And um, there's a tiny bit of room. I mean, if I hook up, I could just walk here, fish here. So it's not too bad. There's not much room in terms of like cooking and stuff, but I mean, I can just cook here. Just walk here. What do you think? So I think I've been posting too many videos at this spot because we got two mates pretty close to us. Got one where I usually fish, and then one a bit further down. But it's all right. It's really nice now. The wind's died down. Sun's setting. I don't know if we we'll actually have um, dinner or not because we're both not really hungry. We did have a bit of sashimi, 
and now the swag's like taking up all the room. But if we catch a fish, we'll, um, we'll work something out. But yeah, it's really nice out here right now. So fingers crossed we can get at least one jewfish. That's all we want and we'll be happy. So we had the little <laughs> lure rod out. Oh, he's going scared. He's going scared. Mate. So this is only 20 pounds. Just... I think he's just... Oh. So it's all right. Just go wind down and then lift up and wind down. Yep. This is going to be Coco's first jewy. Yay! <laughs> I think it's only a little boy. That's all right. First is a first. So I'm very light gear, so... He did have a fair few runs when I was um, whining it and getting the cameras ready. Oh, it's a jewfish. It's a... <laughs> Guess what that means? <laughs> well, pull him over, pull him over. Pull him over this way. Pull him over this way. Pull him over this way. Yeah. First jewy. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I'm more excited than you now. <laughs> so that is about 50 oh, centimeter jewfish. No, it's not too bad for your first one. Silver goes. We'll get a couple photos. In the Enviro net. A little about 50 centimeter probably. It went so hard because we're using just 20 pound. But we got him. That's all that matters. This guy might not swim. He's hurting a bit. He's bleeding a little bit, but if we hold him in here long enough, he might go. I'm gonna keep trying, we'll end the video, but if he swims off, he swims off. If he doesn't, he doesn't. There's not much I can do except for keep trying, but yeah, we'll turn the video off and see what happens. Good morning, everyone. We caught one fish last night. I woke up to my line stuck under the boat. Probably could have caught fish if I tried a bit hard last night, but I was so tired and then this morning, I think there was another tide change, which I probably could have caught fish, but I'll bring the bait in and we'll chuck the lure around for a bit, see if we can get any early morning flathead, or even dewy, but yeah, we'll cast the plastic for a bit and hope we can get a couple more fish. We just went for a cruise down the river, had a few flicks, but no fish. So it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, it was a bit different this one. Had a special guest featuring, and um, yeah, we still caught fish, which was good. And it's just a beautiful day this morning. Like, it doesn't get much better than that. It's hot, and yeah. Anyway, peace out. If you want any merch, www.offshoreadventures.com.au, and I'll see you next time. Phew. It's just what I